Hi everyone, this is Joanna and welcome to Moon Water Tarot. These are your mid-month readings, May 16th through the 31st. And as many of you know, thank you so much for watching my Lemp video that I did stay the night there. And I did not have time to do a little clip of Nicholas, so I'm using the clip that I used for the Lemp video, and you will see things flying as I am packing for the trip. And uh, I went and got the suitcase, and then I turned around. It was about three minutes later. You're going to hear that in the video, and you'll see who's in the suitcase. So this is my little clip with Nicholas that I always like to share with you. So I hope you have a great rest of May and take care. Um, about three minutes later, I come back out and look at what I see. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. There's little Nicholas. Nicholas, he's looking at something. What are you looking at? Nicholas. Anyway, I think he I think what he's telling me is that he wants to go with me on the trip. So um, I just had to share this with you. I wish he would look. Nicholas, what's over there? Come here. Say hi. Was that it? Was that a little orb? Did you see an orb again? We've been seeing a lot of orbs, so which is very positive. Lots of angels and protection um, for, for us. So I'm very happy about that. Anyway, so just wanted to share this with you. I just thought it was so cute. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Say bye, Nicholas. Say bye. Okay. Hi Leo, this is your reading and I uh, hope this reading resonates for you. If it does not, please watch your rising and or moon sign because I am reading for thousands of you all over the world. It's not an easy task to do this and if this doesn't resonate, I hopefully maybe the next month or the next mid-month will. Also, you can get your own private reading for me and you can reach me at moonwatertarot.com and I also do the private video readings. All right, so let's focus here. Leo, 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 Leo. What are the messages for Leo? May 16th through the 31st for Leo, the most important messages. All right, let's take a look here. All right, let's see what comes up. We have the Seven of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and let's see what's underneath. Wow, Judgment. Okay. Now, if I did my math right, we come up with 11, which then reduces down to a two again, and we have the two here in the middle. So, wow. Okay, let me uh, very much uh, get this all, I have to move this around and uh, so you can see it better, and I will be right back. All right, Leo, so I'm trying to get your reading out here. Um, we have Judgment as your major arcana, which reduces down to a two. It's so interesting um, because we have also a two here. And so when I add these, we have four plus seven becomes 11, which becomes a two again. And so the 11 is uh, like 
the justice card, but the two is the high priestess. And so I definitely feel that for some of you, things are going to, for quite a few of you, you're going to have like an awakening. And I feel like this is a spiritual awakening. Uh, for others of you, it's it could be both. But th I feel like there are definitely decisions coming in and choices. Um, I'm also feeling with this seven here, First of all, I feel like at one point there may have been too many choices or things have become overwhelming. Now, for some of you, I'm getting like the smoke in mirrors where things are not quite what they seem to be. Uh, and you may have had difficulty in making a choice. Now, for some of you, I feel like the smoke screen and everything is lifted and you're going to be able to make a choice. If you're going to reduce something from a seven to a two. Now, sometimes because I'm reading for so many of you, this card can still be that there are possibility of like temptations or um, still even more illusions. And I almost feel like with the judgment card, it's possibly a looking and with these water, with the cups, there's a need for balance in your life and there's a need to look at something much more closely because sometimes with the seven here, this is, can be representative of diversionary tactics. Like you're so busy, busy doing all these different things or I have so many choices. I can't, you know, that they're distracting you from something that you really need to look at more closely or deeper. And thus the judgment card. Um, there's possibly like a, a, an awakening or a rebirth or looking at, you know, what it is that you want from, from your life or from the subconscious is what I often pick up, especially with the water. Um, and I also feel like be careful of extremes, because we've got the, it's interesting, we have black and white here, which is, uh, it looks like a, you know, checkerboard, um, and the red and yellow. And so I feel like, you know, there may be a situation, um, about with this card, what is it that, this, what it, what path are you really looking for? What is it that you want from your life? In the, in the Connolly deck, which this is, this is almost like the book of life. And by going back, see the white light? It's almost like he's getting illuminated by looking at his past or his history or her male or female. So I feel like the number, I'm getting the number two is going to be very important for you. So two days, two weeks, uh, two months, but I also uh, feel the number six is going to have significance in some way. Now, six to me also represents June. So May, June, um, there may be something about Gemini, uh, that is important is what I'm picking up, but I feel like by the end of June, uh, you know, Gemini ends, the six is the sixth month, which is June and it ends June 22nd, which is very interesting because that's two twos in there. Uh, and, uh, two into four is two. So there's a very much with you, I feel like a play on numbers. Something is maybe a numbers game uh, for positive or for negative. But I do feel that there is a situation um, that it's almost like there's a need for self-examination um, and... 
and a looking back. I feel like some of this is childhood. Some of you may be taking a trip back home, uh, which I guess in the United States would make sense because uh, Memorial Day is coming up. But um, yeah, because I feel like something with the number six by the end of June. I also feel like your past is very important something from your past or someone from your past and there may be a decision that you have to make between someone current and someone from your past i'm also you know the, the six is coming up very strongly here and uh you know in the rider weight deck also there's six people that are rising so the six is also the card of the lovers and there may be a situation in love that you have to resolve. It's like you can't, uh, for some of you, you can't have both. Now, um, I think for some of you, though, it's that either you're traveling and you meet somebody and definitely could be a water sign, especially because judgment represents Scorpio. Um, the water signs are Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But I always tell people, don't stick to that because there have been times, you know, where people come back or um, I've heard from other people that, you know, they said it was a sign and, you know, they missed an opportunity possibly. You know, it could be that this water sign will introduce you to a person or this is more of, you know, the, uh, the personality of the person as opposed to their sign or the way that you're feeling when you meet this person. So this can be read in so many different ways, but I feel like there's definitely, she's very nurturing, does a lot of self-sacrificing and maybe there's uh, I'm getting the message that maybe there's with these extremes uh, maybe somebody is in your life asking you to make more of a sacrifice uh, and um, or be more present because this is very much still the card of illusions to me and so I feel like somebody wants you to be possibly more present, but you know, she's a very um, psychic. She's very intuitive. Could also be that some of you are having this, and I, I said it as a spiritual awakening, but this could very much even be like in a, a psychic awakening or something to do with animals and psychic ability. Um, some of you are having to possibly weigh out, there may be two options in terms of business or what career path. Maybe they're on total opposite ends of the spectrum. One's spiritual and, you know, one is totally different. Now, also be careful of taking too much on. I feel like there's possibly a lot on your plate and you've had to reduce things from, like I said earlier, to a seven to a two. At least, you know, your hands are full. I like this better in the upright position. It's manageable, but there could be somebody in your life that you meet, which then um, comes in and you have to make a decision or this person could already be in your life and you have to make a decision. And uh, so lots of messages here, Leo. Uh, some of you definitely are traveling. Um, and possibly traveling a lot, like physically traveling. Um, and this could even be by the water. And for some of you, I'm also getting, I don't know if this is uh, like your, I feel like soulmate or, you know, the past it was with the lovers. I'm getting past history. I don't know if you go home, like I said earlier, and you meet somebody from your past or your past is catching up in some way. So very important. Um, and so I, but I feel like things are going to calm down. At least we go from the cups being reversed or emptied to, you know, there's, there's a lot of water here. 
So, um, and some of you, it's, it's, you know, you're, you may be going on a cruise cause I'm getting balance. Like, you know, be careful of, uh, seasickness in some way. And some of you, this very, very much may have something to do with a legal situation with all these twos. When I think of balance, um, it could be that. And I also am getting a message of be careful of like prescription medication that you take it uh, according to what the doctor recommends or um, because I feel like I'm looking at these almost as pills or tablets. And so uh, be careful of too much of something and that things get become balanced again. All right, Leo, I hope this reading helps you. Remember, if this doesn't resonate, uh, watch your rising and moon sign. And if you would like a private reading with me, I'd love to do one for you. And you can reach me at moonwatertarot.com. All right, take care, Leo. Bye.